Welcome to the Yukon and uh, North 61. Uh, so today, uh, stepped, on, stepped on the scale at 262. Uh, I'm crush, we're crushing it. Uh, part of it is exercise, the bigger part of it is eating. So we're gonna show you uh, our treat day and what we're gonna eat. Also, give you one hint on gear. Footwear, anything above, below, above minus 18 or minus 20 centigrade, I find if you're going on a multi-day trip, I don't take insulated boots. I just take boots big enough to wear two pairs of socks. I make sure I wear a good pace of, uh, a good pair of gaiters like these outdoor research gaiters. And uh, your boots stay dry. Fine if you get the insulated uh, boots, they get wet. Uh, you get dampness inside of the uh, insulation. And on day three, they're probably colder than uninsulated boots. So for cold camping, unless you've got a way to dry your boots off, you're better using socks as your insulation layer until it gets really, really cold. So uh, recipe up next. What uh, we've used to lose weight are the two C's, um, cauliflower and cabbage. And today we're gonna zero in on cauliflower. So one of the things that I think you need to do to lose weight is eat, but you gotta eat differently. So I've really looked at the glycemic index. I wanna, I wanna uh, work with foods that don't really hit that insulin response. And I wanna go with, a, with um, foods that don't have a high caloric density. So something like uh, cauliflower is fantastic. And we're gonna make pizza today, so we're gonna show you how to do that. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make this crust of our pizza out of cauliflower instead of bread. And uh, we're gonna cut this cauliflower. <laughs> What you're left with is a flour that's very damp. So we've got to dry this a bit. So we're going to start by in a really well uh, greased or oiled pan. We're going to cook it at about 350 for about 10 or 15 minutes. And then we're going to squeeze some moisture out of it. So we'll show you how to do that. Anyway, that's been in there for about 12 minutes, 15 minutes. It's important to get this as dry as possible. So this is out of the oven. It's cooled down a little bit. It's still a little bit hot. So if I start burning myself, I'll stop. I just use a regular tea towel and I'm gonna to try to squeeze as much water out of there as I can. Okay, it's a little uncomfortable, but I can handle it. Look at all that water. And it's surprising, it really reduces the bulk. So most of this is water. So I just like wringing out a pair of socks. Yeah, make sure the tea towel is clean. The drier you get it, the better it is. So there's over a three quarter of a cup of water, about a half a pan full. Just to give you an idea how much water you're taking out of, out of there. So that's uh, cauliflower water. Probably good for you, but I don't drink that. Okay, about one and three quarter cauliflowers made uh, this much uh, mix. And uh, that was two panfuls. You want to get that as dry as possible. Then we add a couple eggs. binder so we want to mix it in nice get that egg all the way through those this will make two crusts and we also add two cheese and uh, I'm gonna put in quite a bit of cheese and the cheese also is a bit of a binder so let's give that a good mixing all right so I grease that pan now we're gonna Put our dough, our cauliflower dough, 
which we've mixed really well, and we're just going to turn that into a pizza crust. And make sure it doesn't get too thin at the edges, otherwise it'll burn. And we don't need to fill the whole thing here. We're just trying to make a good... I want it to bind together nicely. And uh, then we bake this crust at about 350 for about 10 minutes or so. Then we'll flip it. Get it nice and brown, and then we'll add our pizza mix. So that is a crust. Mm -hmm. Okay, and that's what the crust looks like. When it's done, now we just make a regular pizza. So uh, we start with the cheese and put on whatever you want. Tomato sauce, you can just put cheese on it. So we'll come back when it's ready to eat. Okay, so that's the pizza. You can come in and take a look at it. It's a bit of a cheat day for us. So this is not a low calorie pizza, but it's a low glycemic index pizza because it's got all cauliflower on the bottom so uh, it's a fun day to have some real food you can't really tell the difference between this and a, and a uh, regular crust and yet you're not eating any flour so thanks for watching